Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 26, uh, no pre coins, of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Lowest common ancestor of a binary tree, LCA. So this one, it's going to be a medium, so it probably doesn't need it. But there is something that if you want to upsell called uh, binary lifting, uh, definitely check that out. But it basically allows you to pre-process the structure um, in, in a... Uh, pre-process the structure in a good way and it's also just I forget what it's called um uh, i i have a name for it but it's just like an there's a linear time uh process pre-processing uh constant time uh query algorithm uh i forget i don't know if that's a name but it's by like a couple of professors in in uh Wagyu's and stony book or something like this uh but anyway, okay. But I guess that this is just like do it once, maybe. Yeah. So you do it once, so you have to do it, and I think that's pretty much it. So what is um? Do we have to do an all of one space or anything like this? Now, so the idea here is there are a couple of ways you can do it. The way that I'm going to do it is just by walking up the tree. Uh, like in conceptually, the way that you would want to do it is by walking up the tree, but. But I don't think you are given the parent of the tree right? or of the node, right? So you have to do something a little bit funky. Uh, what is n? n is ten, two uh, or ten to the fifth. So yeah, um, yeah. I mean, we. But, uh, I mean, I think it's going to be linear time anyway, just because I think in the worst case, you can imagine like two linked lists co connecting at a spot. But I think the first thing that we should do, that I will do, is by finding P and finding Q, and then we'll walk up the tree. And how do I walk up the tree? Um, yeah, uh, there are a couple of ways that you could play around with some optimizations for sure, but I'm just gonna write it as, you know, as possible by having a function. So we have a find function, that basically gives me a, that for a node, we want to, for a node, find, uh, or find the path from the root to, to this node, right? So in this case, yeah, um, and in this helper, I will have something like called path, and then we'll return path at the end, and then we'll even have a, a basically a depth first search or um, something like this to find a node, right? So yeah, so then we do a depth of search of the root. And, oh, maybe I'll call this, maybe I'll call this target. Maybe this is a little bit better, right? And then you go if node is that value, or if node is none, well, then we return. I don't think that should happen unless we're giving zero nodes. But then, yeah, uh, actually, that's not true. Hmm. Eh, depends how I want to write it. But yeah, uh, and then we go, we go, if node dot value is equal to target, and they're unique, right? Yeah, they are unique. Though in this case, we're not looking for the value anyway. We're looking for the node itself. So that should be good. So if, if this is the case, then we can... How do we want to do it? Hmm. Let, let's just maybe I can do... Some, uh, I'm kind of... This is a little bit hacky the way that I'm doing it. So, okay, let's just... Let's just do this then. Uh, it's, it's not the cleanest whatever, but it'll be okay. Then, yeah, then we return path. Otherwise, mm, this is a little bit awkward, actually. Hmm. Let me think. I mean, this is just syntax in any case. It's not that big of a deal. But... Okay, maybe the way that I would write it is 
just using a global thing so yeah so mm, yeah uh found is equal to to say none and then we just do this thing and then we go return found right and if it's not you know we returns none it returns none if it's target then found is equal to a copy of the path and then we return otherwise yeah otherwise if Uh, on the recursion, I, I, I would order to just check if found is not none, then we return just for an early termination. It's a it's a minor optimization, really. It's still going to be linear in the worst case anyway. So yeah, and then this is uh, yeah path. What we want to do is we want to append node dot left, and then this is prof dot pop, and then do the same thing but for the right. And then yeah, and then now we now looks look for the path P is equal to find of P right, and then path Q is equal to find of Q. So then that means that now if you have the paths, then the lowest one will just be the one where you know you keep going right. So yeah, so I do, 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 do. so I is equal to min of say length of path P and length of path Q, and you could write this both ways. And this one is a little bit slower in that in theory you can express the P instead in in terms of Q because now you're given the path P, you could search for where um where it is in Q, but it just requires more code, so that's why I didn't do it yet. Um, but yeah. Oh. This is an I. This is say M from some reason at max, right? If path of P I is not equal to path of P or Q I, then we return the la uh, the node before this, right? So I minus one, and this should go one anyway. So yeah. Otherwise, we return none maybe. You know that doesn't make any sense because it is. Well, maybe one of them is not found or something, but that doesn't. Yeah. Uh, oh, you have to do non local file. Why do we? Hmm. Hmm. That's weird. All right. All right, let's print out the path real quick. Maybe I'm just not finding it correctly. This is kind of hard to read, to be honest. But this is just like printing everything. But see, yeah, maybe we can write this a little bit. Uh, something like this. Though now we're shadowing, so we have to be careful. But just oh, okay. Mm. Why is it not a? Um, oh, this is so annoying. Even debugging, I am. Yeah, I think you, you're seeing me getting old right before your eyes. Okay, so this is five one. So we're looking for f five and one. Did I mess this up? So we append, we pop. Oh, we we don't append the root. So that's probably why. So okay. Well, that's one of the reasons why. I don't know if that's the only reason why. Um, okay, so three and five, three and one. So okay, so no way. I was looking at the wrong one. No, five and one. Yeah, three and five, and so it was returned the right thing. Three, five, two. Oh, okay. Mm. So basically, yeah. I mean, this is kind of right, but then here is what we want is actually the last number match not the yeah the last number matched or last node matched so yeah uh, okay there we go uh sloppiness on my part it's probably things that i probably could have thought about but i don't know maybe i'm just been a little bit off lately maybe i need a break <laughs> to be honest
because I've been kind of um, I think one of the anti patterns I've been doing is that I've been kind of lazy, so I've been letting these testing handle the thinking for me. But when I'm missing a little bit on the tests, uh, that's when things go wrong. Um, and also, I need to be better about reading, but that's another story. Anyway, let's give it a quick submit. Hopefully, this is good and not too yikes. Um, well, this is way faster than last time. What did I do last time? But yeah, um, this is going to be linear time, linear space. And that is, or you could also say maybe depth of the tree as the space. But that is also going to be the, as good as it gets because that is the size of the, out, well, it's not the size of the, but, but you have to look at every node once, right? So um, to find the, the nodes, I'm curious what I did last time and why it's slower. Um, it seems like I did the same thing, but I just wrote it in a cleaner way because I'm not creating new lists all the time. And also, I thought about writing it this way to, today, to be honest, um, on the true and false, the tuple, but I thought it's a little bit messy, so I don't know how I feel about it. But anyway, the idea is mostly the same, though. So, yeah. Um, whew, that's all I have for today. So let me know what you think. Uh, is this... Does everything show up on screen? I guess so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.